Welcome back to part two of my posing video series. So if you haven't seen part one, then click up here. So today I'm giving some of you guys, and by guys I mean boys and men, tips on how to pose in photos. And I don't necessarily mean for you to model in photos, I mean how to pose in photos in your everyday life. But ladies, don't stop watching this video just yet. I know a lot of you are photographers, and you can definitely get some tips in this video on how to direct your talent going forward. But if you're looking for a bit more information about gear I use and how I take my self portraits, then definitely watch part one up here. And today I'm shooting with a familiar, 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 familiar face. Familiar face. I'm familiar. This is my fiance and business partner, Chris Howe. We're going to be having some fun, shooting some portraits, using this big natural light window. Natural light window? <laughs> Pre-diffused, which is great because we rented a studio today. Thanks a lot, Mint Room. This one is actually called Nest. So this half of it is really cool and like suave and swanky. And that side is actually an area to shoot like baby photos and kids photos, yeah. so we'll just stick over here. Okay, so I'll be shooting with my Sony a7 III today with my 35mm f1.4. Would you agree that that's our favorite? It, right now, for sure. They can't see you when you talk <laughs> behind the camera. 35 f1.4 is amazing, so that's the one that we're using. That's like Carl Zeiss Sony collab. It's great. It's awesome. So I've got it on continuous shooting because I want Chris to be able to move a lot while we're taking photos. My shutter speed's pretty high. I'm gonna start with it at 1 over 320. We also have face tracking and the eye autofocus on, so that's gonna help me a lot to make sure I'm in focus. So like, thanks Sony for letting me lean on you a little bit for that. My aperture is set at f3.2 just because I wanna make sure that not just his eyeball is in focus. I'm not a person that really likes to shoot 1.8. Like, I get it. I get get why you're doing it, but your photo isn't that sharp. Let's shoot. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Go sit. My first tip for you guys is to know your body and you know your body best. So the more photos that you take over time, the more you're going to start to improve your posing because you're noticing little things about your body that you don't like in how they're positioned. You notice more things about your body that you don't like in how they're positioned. And <laughs> over time, you can correct those things. So for example, if you don't like your posture, then you can correct your posture in photos going forward. Stand up a little taller, put your shoulders back, that kind of thing. If you're noticing that, hey, I tend to like photos of the left side of my face more than photos taken that show more of the right side of my face. And I totally understand that. That's called a good side. And I believe that my good side is this side of my face. And there was actually a hashtag started for a while called Lizzie looks left, which was a little embarrassing because I take so many photos of myself showing the left side of my face. More commonly, if you're noticing that, hey, I'm slouching, my stomach's sticking out, I don't like the way that my knees are tilted, or maybe I shouldn't sit like this with my legs spread wide open, then those are all things that you can correct going forward. So the more photos that you take, the better your poses are going to get because you're starting to notice and correct all of those little things. Let's talk about posture. So here's a good posture check that I always do with my talent. So first, you lift your shoulders all the way up and then bring them all the way back and then drop them. So that's actually your true posture. Probably feels really weird and unnatural and that might mean you need to see a chiropractor and that's not something we're gonna talk about in this video. Next, flex your abs and don't suck in. You have to activate your core. This posture is already so much more flattering to your body shape. After completing the posture check, here are some different pose ideas. This first pose I call standing casually. So you're in casual clothes, you're posing with friends, what do you do? So you wanna make sure that both of your legs aren't like touching each other. They're not close together. You want them shoulder width apart. And then I like to tell my talent to stick out one leg and not like fully extend it, just like casually lean on one leg and like put the other leg a little bit in front of your body, turn to a 45 degree angle, not 90 degrees so you're completely sideways, but a 45 degree angle is really flattering. And remember to tip your head down just a little bit, not too much because people's faces tend to look a little bit more flattering this way. And here's Chris in a suit. 
One, because I enjoy seeing Chris in a suit, especially with his new haircut, and two, because I thought it would be good to give you guys some suggestions on how to pose in a more formal setting. So everything from my standing casual pose still applies, so make sure your posture is really good and you're tightening your core and you're extending one foot, but I'm gonna give you some suggestions now on what to do with your hands. You can A, put one hand in your pocket, or you can put both hands in both your pockets, or you could just have one hand on the button of your blazer, or you could play a little bit with the sleeve of your blazer or of your shirt underneath. That's Chris's favorite pose, his go-to. He uses it in tons of his Instagram photos. Or you could put both of your hands interlock them right in front of your body and make sure that the hand that you're wearing your watch on is over top of your other hand because Chris told me that watches are a status symbol or like a symbol of wealth and like a collector's item or something. He's really into watches right now, so make sure your watch is exposed. Pro tip, if you're at a wedding or you're posing with a group of people and you're still wearing that nice, fresh, crisp suit, don't and Chris made this mistake when we were at Buffer Festival, so I could probably find that photo and insert it somewhere, but he might get mad at me because he really doesn't like those photos. Don't put your arm over the person next to you because it just pulls that whole suit up, makes it look crinkly and uncomfortable. You want to, if you're, if you're going to put your arm around your friend or around that special someone, make sure you're putting it around their lower waist or around their hip because that allows for your suit to stay nice and flat and clean cut the way it's designed to be, not like pulling awkwardly at your body. So here are a couple of suggestions for sitting poses. My first one and my favorite one for men is for them to sit at the front edge of the chair, put both of their legs out, kind of shoulder width, not like super spread, but comfortably, feet flat on the floor. They lean forward with their elbows on their knees and kind of interlock their fingers and give this like really smoldery look to the camera. That's my personal favorite. But there are a few other ones you can do too. You can, again, extend one of your legs and rest your forearm on one knee. You can have a little freedom with your other hand to like run it through your hair or sit that on your knee or whatever feels comfortable. The most important thing is that you're sitting into your poses. You're not just like holding it artificially and looking really uncomfortable. You wanna feel that pose, sink into it, make it feel like you and make it feel natural. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, then maybe go check out my Instagram too. Also follow Chris on YouTube, on the Instagram, all the places. And if you haven't seen my first posing video, go check that out. If you'd like to see any other posing videos, maybe some that are a little more modely and not for the every person, because I feel like I've covered that now, let me know in the description box below. I'm going to comment below. right now. You'll find my comment and I'm commenting. I want to see more. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Boom. So if you gotten this far in the video, I applaud you for watching this entire video. And as a reward, you get a sneak peek at some top secret news, is that this is our new studio space that I share with Chris. We got it, honestly, not even that long ago, two weeks ago. Really? And what I wanna let you guys know is that I have a weekly vlog coming out every week, starting next week. The weekly vlog will have a variety of content, including the office reno, including bits of our daily life, running our production company, running our businesses, and just what it's like to be people in our late 20s being entrepreneurs with very weird jobs. So if you're interested in seeing that, then keep an eye out on my channel because vlogs are coming out every week, starting next week. Thank you guys so much for watching and like, subscribe, all the things. Um, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs>